ICBF's Chris Daly joins us now. Chris, thanks very much for coming into us. No problem, Claire. Good to be so, here. so Chris, Niall has outlined the timeline of event, events there on the introduction of the beef scheme. But can you just reflect on why this scheme was established and why we're weighing cows and calves? Yeah, no problem. So as the title of the programme suggests, it's called a Beef Environmental Efficiency Programme. It's a Department of Agriculture pilot that has been put in place to try and improve efficiencies on our suckler herds. And that's being done through weighing both cows and calves. So 20 million euros has been made available by the Department of Agriculture to fund it. It's looking to get about half a million cow-calf pairs weighed in the 12 months and the reference period is calves born from the 1st of July 2018 to the 30th of June 2019 and by recording weights farmers will benefit through management on, on their own farms by having the weights to hand and being able to identify animals that are maybe not performing very well or performing very well and being able to make potential breeding or culling decisions on their own farms but it's also hugely significant for ICBF and that we have a huge increase in the amount of data coming into the to the, to the database which will increase the accuracy and the reliabilities of the Eurostar indexes. So it's a hugely significant uh, pilot scheme that the Department of Agriculture put in place for the soccer industry. And so Chris, it's still at the early stages, but there are initial results in. Um, around 70,000 cow-calf pairs have been recorded to date. Um, how is it shaping up at the moment? Yeah, so as you say, about 70,000 cow-calf pairs, and it, that's increasing weekly as we're coming into to peak season now as a lot of spring cows and calves are being weighed. The early picture is very, very positive. So we've done some initial analysis on about the first 40,000 cow-calf pair weights that came in. And what it's showing, and bear in mind, this is before any of the weight data has flown into the indexes of these cows, but what it's showing is the five-star cows are on average coming in at 27 kilos lighter, but they're producing a calf at, a, at an adjusted 200-day weight of 17 kilos heavier. Now, there's a new concept for a lot of suckler farmers out there, which is a cow-calf weaning percentage. And what that is, is you get the calf's weight at 200 days and you express that as a percentage of the cow's mature weight. And these five-star cows have a 5% higher uh, cow-calf weaning percentage, which is hugely significant because what, what the, the index is trying to do is breed a more efficient animal. And I suppose the, the target of the sector in general is that per kilo of beef produced, that we try and reduce our greenhouse gas emissions um, as, as, as much as possible. And well, Chris, so we have to mention, I suppose, there has been a lot of criticism out there about the BDGP scheme. So the initial results are showing that there there is evidence that the, the higher rated cows are producing the goods. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, 27 kilos lighter for the cows themselves, but producing calves at an adjusted 200 day weight of 17 kilos heavier. So a lighter cow requires less maintenance, but you have higher output through a heavier calf as well, which is very, very positive. So right, the initial the initial outlook is good at the moment. Yeah. But yeah. where are the challenges? Um, are farmers? What's the feedback like from farmers on the ground? Um, are there concerns about say increase in workload? Um, some farmers have expressed concerns about heavy cows being penalised. Um, what's your response to that? I suppose there's a couple of questions there. So in terms of the actual weighing itself, feedback has been very positive from farmers. We have had very few farmers come to us and say, you know, weighing calves is a very onerous task, I suppose. The 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 payment per cow calf pair is, is forty euros. So it's quite a significant payment when you when you consider the workload involved in weighing weighing a cow and calf. It's it's a, provided obviously facilities are reasonably good and bear in mind that every farmer is required to have adequate facilities to carry out T B testing, so a cattle crush on farm. It's the same facilities are being used for weighing. So very few farmers have, have come to us and said that it's an, it's an onerous, it's, it's a difficult thing to do. Um, if you think about weighing cows and calves, and particularly cows, and you mentioned weighing heavy cows, throughout the cow's lifetime they go through a crush to be TB tested. If they're sick they need to be dosed or in, examined by a vet or maybe they're being AI'd. They're all quite invasive kind of procedures, but if you think about weighing, all the animal is doing is walking through the crush onto a platform and out again. So of all the reasons that a cow would go through a crush, it's probably the most stress-free reason that they would have to do it. Now, I completely accept that it's another task for the farmer to do in the year, but that's why the Department of Agriculture have put, put in place the 40 euro payment to weigh the cow and calf to offset any increased labor or um, challenges that farmers may have uh, weighing the animals. So Chris, there's lots of advantages basically of having a, a more efficiency in the system. 
Um, but I suppose at the moment there is such a focus on climate change and on ag the agricultural sector getting emissions down by 10 to 15% by 2030. Um, what are the environmental benefits of the beef scheme in terms of greenhouse gas emission production yeah. per kilo? Well, like I alluded to earlier, by weighing animals, you're able to identify the most efficient ones. Uh, we currently have just under a million suckler cows in the country. It's hard to see where those numbers are going to go, but what we need to ensure is for every suckler cow that she's number one producing a calf, so that's probably part of BDGP in producing a more fertile animal through identifying them through uh, Eurostar indexes, but we also need to be collecting weight data, so we need to identify cows that are moderately sized. You know, We don't want tiny little cows or we don't want very large cows. A moderately sized cow that's giving a good weanling so that she's I suppose, from a farmer's point of view, financially paying her way, but from an environmental point of view, that she's justifying her own existence on farm as well. Currently, if you take our, our average calves per cow per year figure in Ireland, we're at about 0.82, which means that there's about one in five suckler cows not producing a calf in a year. And that is a big blot in the copybook in terms of, from the point of view of that one cow, she still has to be fed, she's still producing methane, but she's not producing a calf for it. So that's quite significant and we need to increase the efficiencies in the herd and weighing animals is a huge step forward in doing that. And um, finally, Chris, the beef sector over the course of the past year, it's been grueling. It's been so difficult for, for the sector out there. We've had protests, we've had the Mercosur deal, emergency funds being made available from the EU. Um, in terms of the financial return of the beef scheme to the farmer on the ground, uh, what kind of certainty can it provide um, inside the farm gate? I mean, the average suckler herd size in beef is approximately 20 cows. So by 40 euros per cow calf pair, it's, a, it's, a, it's an average of 800 euros of payment for, per, per herd. I mean, it's, it's not hugely significant, but at the same time, it's, it's, a, it's a relatively significant payment for not a huge amount of work when you, when you, when you think about it at the end of the day. Um, it's by no means going to solve any huge uh, financial challenges in the sector, but from the, a department's point of view for the amount of work involved in getting hugely significant uh, data into the ICBF database to try and make the herd more, the national herd more efficient, it's, it, it is a significant payment in that regard for farmers. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us, Chris.